Welcome back here with Nashawn Ramming and Ruben Ramming. I'm Ruben Ramming. Nashawn Ramming is behind the camera. He's so handsome that if you, if I showed him, you won't be paying attention to what I'm doing. So we put him behind the camera, and we're going to talk about again the air laying of the moringa plants. Uh, these ones we've already had the air layered in cups. Uh, we just will be harvesting and transplanting them. So come on a little closer so we can show them exactly what we've been doing. Uh, this is about like an eight month old moringa plant. I've already harvested the first top portion of it. Um, actually part of it broke off because in air layering these you got to be very careful when you're debar debarking the tree and scraping the cambrian layer. These trees tend to be very very weak and in the wind it will just break off. So you need to definitely support these trees whenever you're starting to air layer them. Um, in this case I wanted to increase the amount of foliage at the base of these trees so they can grow fuller and uh, to do that you need to keep cutting these trees so this is cut about 18 in this is at about 18 inches and I've air layered in this cup here and you can always tell when your air layering has been successful two things really begin to happen the top part remains healthy and keep growing and immediately underneath new growth will shoot out if there is no new growth shooting underneath then that is virtually a foolproof sign that the rooting system has not taken place and the tree has not gotten a signal that the top portion is disconnected from the bottom portion. But as we can see now, we have new sprouts going on here. And uh, later on, after I disconnect this, I would actually clip these so that these could spread into multiple branches because I would encourage more growth. Uh, when I put these cups on initially, I wrapped the tree with cloth. Uh, so it can hold the cup into position that you see here and now I'm just mo removing these because I'm about to remove this, these, these, this cup and transplant this, this section. Without looking I'm very sure that this is rooted and the root has taken in this cup because of the The sprouts to the bottom, the new foliage to the bottom, and everything else. Pipe cutters. I'm cutting directly underneath the pot because the where I would have debarked it would have been in this area, so the roof will be coming down. And here we have it. Now before I move from here, stimulate the growth. One section, two section, in the middle of the third section, I cut. One section, two section, in the middle of the third section, I cut. I found out that by cutting it like that, it will spur new growth. If I cut it too high, maybe just the first two runs will, will, will go. Now I want to add a little shock to this tree, so what I'm going to do is defoliage it and that's going to send a message that hey I'm going to have to push out some more some more branches SOS and so these will start to push out new limbs cut this a little shorter and eventually this healthy stalk should bring forth uh, apart from these, should spring out probably another three or four limbs, and we would have a healthier and a fuller tree, which we're trying to accomplish with these air laying. Let's go over here. Let's transplant air. Now, this is going to be going into this pot. You know, you see the depth of it. So I'm going to fill this pot about a third of the way. I'm not too concerned about too much. I want it to just catch itself in this pot. And when the roots would have caught itself in this pot into a, a larger capacity, then I'll transport, transplant this into the larger size pot. I intend to have it in two. So this is just a starter pot to upgrade it from its current 32 ounce cup that I have it in. So. <clears throat> Two, 
As you can see, the first air layering that I took off here, it was successful because you see the multiple branches here. Normally a moringa plant will grow straight up and then maybe it will put out a branch or two naturally and move from there. But I want to grow these in pots so I want them to have multiple branches so they could be full and you could have a reliable harvest out of a plant that's grown on a pot or in the city um, if you don't want to plant it into the yard right away. And even if you plant it into the yard, you want a full, thick tree um, that has a lot of foliage that you don't have to be climbing your tree to get at. And so, as you would see in here, um, from the cutting, it spurred out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven branches. And these seven branches, if I clip them before this reached a height of uh, about four feet, we could end up with a, a dozen branches that are yielding heavy leaves. And so, this is what we're doing right now. So, this is a moringa cup. And I will cut, but not deeply enough to disturb the roots. You gotta be sensitive of that. You wanna cut the roots. The roots are your prize. And you gotta support this because the root ball tends to be very, very fragile. So you always want to make sure it is well supported. Can you come and take a look. Come closer. You can see the root ball starts from right about here. And you notice moringa have a lot of very fine roots. And this is a healthy root system. I'm not going to touch this or spread this out. I'm going to set this because I want this to become a stronger network. And you notice that even in the midst of that you have some shoots that are growing from beneath that and making them way, their ways to the surface. So you see a perfect root ball growing inside a 30, 32 ounce cup that I could actually reuse and cellophane cup, styrofoam. Now I will set this in, if you can see that, just neatly and I will gently place soil around it And I mix the moringa leaves in with my soil because moringa leaf also have a natural um, fertilizing property. It's not only good for us to eat and good for your cattle, but it helps plants develop stronger roots. So <laughs> I use it to help my moringa plants um, do the exact same thing. Slap it around a little bit. Make sure your tree is in the position that you want it in. And I'm going to put in place some support. I'm going to do that after I'm through. Now this is my compost tea. And I've added in it about an ounce of um, rooting stimulator. Just a, just a little bit of it, but it's rich compost tea. And... I would add this in here. So the soil can get saturated and com compress itself. It becomes compacted. Once it becomes compacted, the tree begins to get a bit more stable naturally. Now while that is being done, I'm going to defoliage this tree a tad bit. I'm going to cut some of these off because I want new growth and the leaves, this is actually a leaf, um, 
because I don't want I want to minimize the strain on the root system. And then also by cutting these, I will also stimulate new growth. But the new growth will be in tandem with the root system. And also what this would do is um, protect the tree from wind. Uh, right now while the root is developing, I don't want it to be susceptible to wind shifting. Um, I want it to be as stable as possible as it began to grow. So I would virtually strip this down, not too much, doesn't matter, and it should be ready. You can feel the plant getting more stable, and now I will insert this. And it will serve as a brace. have it. Now I have another Moringa plant that has the same properties of his mother plant and apart from his roots it's, a, it's almost a year old. So it, it allows me to propagate and cultivate these things in leaps and bounds and to ensure the quality. Once again I'm by for myself Ruben Ramming and the handsome camera guy behind you, Sean. Ruben Lorenzo Ramming. I'll post this picture one day. And we want to thank you and we hope that this Moranga project here in Nassau, Bahamas was a benefit to you. If you're interested in these plants in any which way, we cultivate a lot of them also for sale. Just uh, drop us a note. You'll find us on Facebook, Ruben Ramming. Uh, you can find us email, rubenramming at gmail. And thank you again for watching our homemade backyard project.